All right, guys, so even though we just got the final trailer yesterday, even more incredible new footage of Avatar The Way of Water has been revealed. Courtesy of an ad that ran on Instagram and was shared with me by my good friend Becoming Navi. So I'll go ahead and play the 30 second ad, then we can break down each new scene shot by shot. The humans are returning. They're hunting us. What's our plan? This is our home. This is our family. This is our fortress. This is where we make our stand. We must protect the people. Let's get it done. Avatar The Way of Water. Experience it in 3D. Tickets on sale now. And right off the bat, just this quick 30 second ad lets it be known that the RDA is back and at least one of their objectives is to hunt down the Soli family. So going through all the new shots, we start with what looks to be one of the RDA shuttles landing on their return to Pandora. And we get a look at Jake and Atiri appearing to be looking at these RDA shuttles. We did see that happen during Avatar The High Ground Volume 1, so I'm curious to see if parts of this will give us elements of that comic in movie form. And next we get a great intimidating look at a sea dragon mothership with some of the newly revealed sea wasp flying close by. Then we have our first look at General Ardmore played by Eddie Falco in a very similar shot to how we see Quaritch posed during the attack on Home Tree and she is also holding a coffee mug. Then we have another look at the sea dragon in the background as we see some of the ships it'll be carrying on it, which are the Matador gunship and the Picador jet boat. Next we see Neytiri and Tuktiri in a different angle from the very first shot of the new final trailer as the Soli family flies towards the Metkaina. Speaking of the Metkaina, we see a close up of one of them blowing what looks to be a horn made out of a seashell. We do have an image of Jake in what looks to be the Metkaina village, as we see a couple of them walk by in the background. A beautiful shot of Tuktiri hugging an Elu, which then transitions into a shot of Loak hugging Payakan, the Tolkun he bonds with. Staying with Loak and Payakan, we see him pointing to something in the night sky in the stunning shot here. And in another flashback, it looks to be the birth of possibly Netayam or Loak, and we do see Jake wear the outfit of the Olo Ektan of the Ometikaya that Neytiri's father wore during the first movie. We see some human soldiers loading up a gun turret, then Jake riding his skimwing as we then transition to Neytiri taking off on her new Ikron into battle from the Metkaina village. And now we get what I counted to be at least 14 skim wings being ridden into battle. As we then see one of the Metkaina about to throw what looks like a harpoon of sorts from the back of a skim wing. Another amazing look at the sea dragon which never fails to seem intimidating. Here shown to be hovering or flying just above the water with the Matador gunship in the water as well. We then get a closer look at how deadly the Matador gunship can be as we see multiple soldiers fire off turrets and various guns, even one that looks like a giant harpoon, like the one Payakan had stuck in him which Loak removed. Then a very interesting shot of Tokuns going into battle, with one massive Tokun even having tattoos around its mouth area. I wonder if this one could be Tonawari's spirit brother Tokun? since it also looks to be a leader of the Tokuns of sorts. The ad ends with the Tokun swimming below a Picador jet boat and using its tail to launch them away. So there we have it guys, that was my breakdown of the new footage we received as part of this new ad. If you noticed anything else, feel free to let me know down below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.